Hey guys, thanks for stopping back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my weekly wax melts. This is from February 4th, which is a Saturday, until yesterday, which is Feb Friday, February 10th. Today's the 11th, it's a Saturday, but I'm not going to count that as a day of my melts because I just woke up and I haven't melted anything. And I wanted to make this video before I melted anything today. So I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to start with Super Tarts. <clears throat> also, I just placed another order with Super Tarts, which I really shouldn't have done because I have way too much of her wax. But I couldn't help it because she has her new website and it just looks really nice. And it's like fancy when you go to like shop and stuff. So <clears throat> I couldn't help it. So this, this coming week of Melt is going to be mostly Super Tarts because I really need to get get through some of that but uh this one has is huge also this this weekly's melts are huge so this video is probably going to be pretty pretty long but there's like a lot of variety of vendors in this one <clears throat> i'm going to start off with super tarts like i usually do i just want to smell this clamshell real fast okay <clears throat> so this one i melted in my bathroom this is cordelia it's sugar milk raspberry and, and pineapple <clears throat> Yeah, I melt this one in my bathroom because I'm not big on that pineapple. I'm coming to I'm coming to terms with the fact that I don't think I like pineapple scents. So that's kind of interesting. But this one has a really nice strong throw. It has a strong throw in my room too. <clears throat> but um in the bathroom in just a I think it's a 15 watt warmer, it does awesome. And it smells really good in there too. Mm -mm. I melted this last night when I came home. This is the Melting Dead Daryl, one of my favorite top scents from Super Tarts. This is leather, sugar dusted blackberries, and sweet cream. If you've never had a leather scent that I don't know, this is my first one, and I'm, I don't know how to explain that to you. But the thing I get the most is the fruitiness from the blackberry with with it creamed out. Um, I put this one in my 20 watt warmer. Oh, I wanted to mention I have started using my 20 watt warmer, so... Um, I'll let you know which things I used in which warmer. But I put this one cube in my 20 watt warmer last night and when I woke up this morning at 8.30. So I didn't put that in the warmer until probably like 12 o'clock at night. And then I woke when I woke up at like 8.30ish, um, you could still like smell it in the room. It was like lingering. So that's a really awesome one. <clears throat> oh, I have an empty here, so that's awesome. This is The Thing. This is cornbread, fresh-picked peaches and cream. If you watch my channel at all, you know I hate this scent. I don't like cornbread at all. I think it's gross. So that's really awesome. I forgot I used this up. So that's great news. <clears throat> I melted this Once Upon a Time Charming in uh, the bathroom. This is pink grapefruit sugar cookies. This is not going to focus. Alright, it doesn't want to focus, but yeah, I use this one up. This is like a really, really gross bitter grapefruit. And then just, it, this one's just gross to me. So I just melt it in my bathroom to, to get rid of it. <clears throat> it does really good in there though. It's super strong. <clears throat> I melted Ruby in my bathroom. This is Biolage, Blackberry Jam, and Cotton Candy Frosting. I don't know why it's not focusing. There it goes. Biolash, Blackberry Jam, and Cotton Candy Frosting. Um, I melted this one time in my room, and I was like, okay, it's Biolash, so I'm going to make that a bathroom to melt. And then I can't remember really what it smelled like in the bathroom. I think I smelled a, like a sweet Biolash scent. I can't really remember, but I'm not a fan of Biolash scents, and I, so I only have two in my collection. And then once I'm done with those, I won't be getting more. Okay, this next one is from a Super Tarts Christmas Melts. Uh, it's called The Family Stone. It's cinnamon glazed vanilla beans. This one is a spot on dupe for cinnamon sugar donut from Bath and Body Works. So if you like that candle, get this because it's like the same exact thing. Um, unfortunately, I don't really like that candle for some reason. There's just something. However, this is super strong. So let me just say that. And a 24 watt mainstays warmer. This is super strong, lasted a really, really long time. It's just not my favorite scent. I don't know what it is about that type of scent, but I just I just don't like it. 
I also melted from her Christmas collection. It's called Crank's Christmas Sweet Gingerbread Cookies and Cotton Candy Frosting. This is my first ever gingerbread scent and I love it. I'm like cooked on gingerbread. <laughs> but this one's really awesome. It had a lighter throw in my 24 watt warmer. So next time I melt this, I'm going to do one cube of my 20 watt and one cube of my 24 watt. <clears throat> and those are like sitting right next to each other. So I think I'll get like a much better throw in my room from that. So yeah, it's just a little bit lighter, but it still smells so good and sweet and not too spicy on the gingerbread. <clears throat> I melted White Christmas from the Christmas Melts. This is Peppermint, Frosted Cranberries, Serendipity, and Vanilla Bean Gelato. <sighs> I don't like her cranberries, so I won't be getting any more of her cranberry scents. This one wasn't as bad as my reaction of when I bought it. Um, when I bought it in my haul video, I was like, this is disgusting, blah, blah. It reminds me of, there's a scent from the Fright Night collection. It's called 28 Days Later. That one also has cranberries in it. <clears throat> it reminds me of that one, but this one's a little bit sweeter. So I think I like this one better. <clears throat> it's not my favorite, but it's not my favorite. And I think I'm going to put it in my bathroom melts from, for now because I, I just don't really like this type of scent. I don't know what it is about it. It's just weird to me. <clears throat> and then I melted violet. This is peppermint, cotton candy, and blackberry from the American Horror Story collection. I did one cube in my 24 watt warmer and one cube in my 20 watt warmer because I heard that this scent was a lighter scent. And they're right, it was lighter because with just with those two cubes melting in my room, it was it, it was like a medium high throw. So it was decent, but it's not something I feel needs to be repurchased by me. Like, I'm totally good after that clamshell. <clears throat> Alright. I'm just going to move these up here. <clears throat> so, the next thing I have from Super Tarts is her potion packs. I've been trying to use these up as well. <clears throat> <clears throat> I remember I blended something with this. Oh. I did a cube of, or a shape of her sugar cookie dough and a cube of Wilma strawberry milk, and I did that in my bathroom. It was kind of weird. <laughs> it was like a strawberry, strawberry came through the most, I think, but it was like a strawberry bready scent. It was kind of weird. But um, yeah, I just did that in my bathroom because I hate this scent. So this is in my bathroom melt box. But I went through those together. I'm trying to think of like all the blends I did. <clears throat> okay, I remember when I <clears throat> I was melting a melt, and I'll just go to right to that melt actually. I was melting this. This is from House of Usher Wax Museum. This is Oz the Great and Powerful. The scent description is pistachio pudding cake and 7 up pound cake. Okay, now guys, look how much of this wax melt I used. Look how much. See that? Not even half. It's like barely a third of this wax melt I have used, okay? See this? This thing was so freaking strong. I it was, like, it was way too strong. Like, I've never, I don't think I've ever said that a scent has been way too strong. Maybe that it, like, was blowing me out of the room and, like, I don't know, I just couldn't handle it, so I had to open the door. This one was just like headache inducing, like I don't know, I can't I can't handle this. So while that was melting, but you know, like good job for this for her, like this vendor. Like I she's so underrated and everything that I've tried from her has been a medium to high throw. I didn't really want to place another order, but I just haven't seen any sense that I like. <clears throat> but anyways, so this was so strong and it was like a cherry. It kind of smells like a cherry Coke or something. I don't know. I just can't do this type of scent. It was just gross to me. So that's going in my bathroom box. But And I did that in my 24 watt warmer. So in my 20 watt warmer, to kind of tone that down, I mixed butter brickle, cotton candy frosting, <clears throat> and vanilla bean noel. And I could barely smell this. So then I added more butter brickle 
and it kind of a little bit toned it down, but it wasn't anything near as strong as that melt right there. So, I don't know. I just think these things are, are disappointing unless you put them in the 24 watt warmer. <clears throat> so, yeah, there was that. <clears throat> And then, I think I did a combination to try out this blue cotton candy. I did regular cotton candy, blue cotton candy, and cake batter. I'm almost done with this. I just have this huge cookie to use up, and then I'll be done. Um, this one, it didn't last long. It wasn't very strong, and yeah, I can't really comment that much. It was just kind of blah, so. I don't like these potion packs, which I'm sure you guys know. I just, I just don't like them. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to do Rose Girls next. <clears throat> I melted Sicilian Lemon Cookie Fluff Puffs, my first lemon scent I've ever liked. This one's just so good and sweet and delicious. It's just sweet and delicious, and it smells like the Lemon Girl Scout cookies. This one is awesome. <clears throat> I also melted my fave. This is Berry Creme Brulee Fluff Puffs. Um, from her mini melter pre-order, I got her Berry Creme Brulee, Creme Brulee. I was like, I need this. <laughs> but I actually did a cube in my mainstays and a cube in my 20 watt because this this is like a lighter scent. And it was really awesome. It was like a medium to high throw and I loved it. So that was that. <clears throat> I also melted pistachio ice cream scoop bread. This one was also on the lighter side, so I decided to put half of the chunk in my mainstays and half in my 20 watt. <clears throat> and this was awesome. It threw for hours. And this is not like the cherry pistachio. This is more of like a nutty bread pistachio. So it was different, and I liked it. <clears throat> I also melted pineapple fluff puffs. <clears throat> Again with the pineapple. But in this one, the pineapple isn't very strong. I definitely get, like, the cookie scent the most. <clears throat> so it's kind of just, like, a slight fruity bakery scent. I melted strawberry jello fluff puffs. This is that fake artificial strawberry that's gross. And But adding that fluff puffs just kind of makes it more bearable <laughs> than most vendors can do. <clears throat> and lastly, I finished off Sweet Lavender Fluff Puffs. I just use this to go to bed, too, because I don't like lavender scents. <clears throat> I'll just do this one real fast because it's sitting here. This is um, my last Better Homes and Gardens clamshell I have. This is in Sugar Melon Kiwi. This is such a great, delicious scent. I only have four clamshells clam left. I melted this after I used this because um, even my boyfriend said he didn't like it. So it was just too strong. Um, so what I did was I dumped out that warmer, <clears throat> trying to get the scent out of the air. And then I put two cubes of this in my 20 watt warmer and it was super strong and just beautiful. So that's always a good one to have. <clears throat> gonna get this one out of the way this is vanilla bean noel pink sugar brown sugar this is just a really like it's like a blender scent just kind of bland and boring but i just did this in my bathroom so it wasn't anything too exciting just kind of like a creamy vanilla i got some wilma's to show you guys <clears throat> and some southbound so i blended this bag so there's pink swirl and cotton candy in here i did a chunk of the cotton candy with a chunk of this strawberry sparkle, sparkle from Southbound. This is ripe juicy strawberries with just a hint of cotton candy and fresh French vanilla. Um, she uses the artificial strawberry as well, so I don't like this. So I figured to make it more sweet, I would add a cube of cotton candy. So I did one and one in my 24 mainstays warmer, and then I did one more and one more in my 20 watt warmer all at once. And the cotton candy didn't really help to tone that down that vanilla, or I'm sorry, that strawberry. It was still kind of artificial and gross. So I don't know about that. It kind of sucks. <clears throat> I'm going to try and move some stuff back. <clears throat> 
All right, next up from MoMA's, I did, if I remember correctly, I did Candy Craze and Raspberry Zinger. <clears throat> and maybe I added some of this too. I think I might have added some Strawberry Bliss to this. I can't really remember. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Candy Craze is like a sweet, crazy, crazy, sweet, um, just super sweet uh, candy scent. Raspberry Zinger has like no throw and Strawberry Bliss is like that artificial uh, strawberry scent. So that kind of sucks. <clears throat> but speaking of Wilma's, I'm almost done with all of my things that I bought from her back in August, except for this thing. So um, I did place another order because I wanted to get polypropylene bags to put um, my wax melts that are like this in. But, um, and I couldn't like pass up the opportunity to get some wax. So I did place an order with her. So just going to move over to Southbound now then. This is was a wax melt and pink bakery dough. I don't like pink sugar and I don't like dough scents, I guess. This was just um, your typical like pink sugar, um, sugar cookie dough. I don't know how to explain it. It was like bready and then like it's pink sugar. I just don't really like pink sugar blends. <laughs> <clears throat> then I did Winter Love Spell. This is Love Spell blended with fresh mint and vanilla. This is super, super strong, but I don't really like it. So when this one's gone, it sucks that all the scents I got from Southbound I don't like, but they're all super strong. So I would be placed, I would place another order with her, but it would have to be for like m more scents that I'm comfortable with and not so much out of my comfort zone. And I don't really like her mint. I think that's it. Like, her fresh mint is really, like, uh, I don't know if it's herbal or medicinal. It's one of those two. And then I'll just do this House of Usher one. This is Late Fanger. It's pineapple upside down cake. Super, super strong. I was doing this one in thirds as well. So I have one more melt of this. It is just too, like, not too strong, actually. This one's just a very high throw. I did the third of it in my 24 watt mainstays and it's just very very strong i don't like pineapple scents though because this doesn't smell like pineapple pineapple to me really maybe like a little bit pineapple-y but it's like definitely like an artificial pineapple <clears throat> i melted one thing from ava's this was spice coquito so spice coquito is it's a puerto rican eggnog so it has like coconut milk I think coconut milk is in the description, but in the actual recipe, I think it's like condensed milk. Not con condensed milk. There's some other type of milk. I don't know. But whatever. So this was um, a medium throw, a solid medium throw. And it smelled good. It was like a less spicy eggnog to me. It was creamy, and I liked it. So, And as you can see, I just did these little pinwheels. I just cut it in half and melted half of it. I found that was a good size to use. Alright. I have two bakery bags from Sassy Dollar Roma. The first one I used was Serendipity Strawberry Bed Coconut Cream Pie. <clears throat> this is my favorite Serendipity scent. I just think it's so decadent and delicious. And it throws good. <clears throat> and then I melted this one again. This is Blackberry, Wildberry, Mousse, Cake, Batter, Sugar Milk. The first time I melted this, um, I didn't get very much of any throw. So this time, I used less, not only, and then I put a little chunk in my 24 watt and a little chunk in my 20 watt. And this thing was super strong, and it was awesome. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> and last, I have to show you guys some Haley Heavenly scents. I'm going to try and make sure the bags aren't super crinkly. <clears throat> But I melted like a third of the scent shot. She sent me candy corn. I don't like her candy corn scent. I find it to be very artificial and just like not very strong. And I don't know. I don't like it. So there's that. <clears throat> but I do keep my... <clears throat> as soon as I get my bigger probably popoline bags, I'll be putting all my Haley 70 scents in those. But as for now, I just take one, one tart at a time and put them in these little ones so that I don't have to open and close those bags. But the first one I melted was candy corn. 
Marshmallow Madness Sugar Cookies. This is my own blend I made up and it sucks. So that's always disappointing when that happens. Um, I cut the tart in half and put one half in the warmer and the other half in the other warmer with a little bit of this. And it's just not a good scent at all in my opinion. I also melted this one when I knew I was not going to be in my room as much. This is Mrs. Claus Pink Noel. Pink Noel. Uh, so Mrs. Claus Cookies, Pink Sugar, and Vanilla Bean Noel. These are really, really cute Hello Kitty shapes though. But um, <clears throat> I really hate, hate that scent. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be actually. I feel like there was something in there that was making it not so pink sugar dominant, but it definitely is. Like the pink sugar is 100% the top note. So like 90% pink sugar. And then there was like a 10% of something that was like sweet and nice. So it wasn't totally terrible, <laughs> but guys, that was, that's my uh, weekly melts. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be on the lookout for a lot of super cards in the next week's video. Um, a little update about my Ava's order. It said it was delivered to my front door yesterday, but as far as I can tell, there's nothing in my front door, so I don't know. I'm kind of nervous, and today's Saturday, so if it doesn't come today in the mail, and it's not in the mailbox because I don't think anybody's gotten the mail. Because I know they can, like, check off the wrong thing. Like, they can say it was left at the front door, but it might be in the mailbox, you know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have the messenger. And I don't want to have to do this because I just want my wax. Because that was, like, my the best order I've ever placed with her. So, yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys stayed till the end. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.